You're on sound? No. Oh. Hey, yo, Victor. Are we recording? Yeah. Yeah. How's the volume on that? Is it good? Those headphones? Does it sound good in your headphones? Yeah. All right. All right. Five-minute countdown video. Let's roll it. All right. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. And let's get it, boy. Three, two, one. Here we go. Open the gates. Come on. Open the Come front on. gates. Come on. Open. Hey, yo, let's turn it up. Let's let's get that. Bumping. Yo, don't be walk, don't loud. be walking in here hey, like zombies. I don't need zombies. Colton, are you a I don't need man? zombies. Let's turn it up. Luke, let's I don't need zombies, up. bro. You better walk in here like you ready. Come on. Come on, don't be shy. Come on. Let Come grab a seat. There's Come plenty on. of room up here. Let's go. There's plenty of room up here. I need you to move. Yeah. I need you to move. I need you to move. Hey. Hey. I need you to move. Hey. I and need you to move. You look great with I your mask I need you to move. Yeah. I need you to move. I need you to move. I need you to move. Hey, hey, Avi. I need you to move. Hey, Avi. I need you to move. What? You know, um, you know I'm our lead guitarist tonight. Bro, don't be dropping the pick. What you doing? Oh, give it up for Nick. Guitar is this? I don't know whose guitar is this. Uh, I believe it's Colton. Yo, Colton. You they can call me. Yeah, Colton's gonna do a solo for us. Pastor Daniel Colton <laughs> Cone. That's my name. Colton's gonna do a solo for us, bro. Nah. What up, Big Nick? Do I know? I know. I, we have our, we have our beforehand. So, I know I know all y'all got some kind of uh, TikTok on your app. So, take out your phone. They got your phone. You got TikTok. Turn it off. <laughs> nah, you can only use TikTok if you're tagging Victory Youth in the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use TikTok if you're tagging, tag, tagging, tagging Victory Youth. So take your phones out and tag Victory Youth. Yeah, how we all Double. doing tonight? We doing good? I can't hear you. What the heck, bro? Are you guys like dead? Are we talking to a wall or something? Deader than dubstep. How disrespectful. We're talking like to a wall. Is anyone even here? Deader than dubstep, I'm telling you. No Every week. Every week. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Oh, hi. How you doing? You can't hear us? OK. I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to somebody. Taylor's back. So everybody give, yeah. us, everybody give it up for Taylor. She back. She ready to throw some pictures. So y'all better be smiling. Come on now. Well, y'all gonna have, me? you know. I, I, I don't know who had that. Luke, where's the app at? Where's the, oh, oh, app at. Louder than that, bro. I did it. I gotta turn myself up. Oh, is that better? We got oh, one I'm singing tonight. in 57 what do you guys? Seconds. What do you guys think of my voice? Oh, is that good? Is that good? No? Y'all are whack, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Stay six feet apart! Hey, remember when we were online and we had like a five-minute countdown after a five-minute countdown? Like every single week? No? Y'all don't remember that? Yeah, you do? Do five-minute countdowns feel you tri like make you feeling triggered now? You guys feel triggered? Yeah? No? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm looking into blank faces right now. They it's just still like bored. They look bored, bro. Like I'm not. I, I see people on their phone too. Huh? Like, huh? Like, huh? Why are you gonna be on the phone while it's we? It's fine. Up you here? don't need to hear us now, anyway. It's hurting my feelings. Come on. Come on. Hey, I heard. Uh, I heard David Tranquilino is preaching tonight. Give it up oh. for David. Here's the mic, David. Yo, he's like, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> now, nah, real talk. I heard, uh, yo, I heard Emily is preaching tonight. 48, bro, right here. Emily, give it up for Emily. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I just love making people feel awkward. Let's go. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. I'm like the king at making people feel awkward. 
No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. Like Avi, are you going on a date anytime soon? Uh, I'd be dating Jesus for now. Hey, should we get Avi on Christian Mingle? Anyone? Hey! What do you think? <laughs> yeah? No! Who thinks we should get Avi on Christian Mingle? No! Let's give, yeah! Put your hands down! And that's Put your the, hands down! That's the game for tonight. We're getting Avi on. <laughs> no way. No. Put your hands down. All we right. got six, five, All right. five. All right, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. All right, that's it. Service is over. Get out of here. Go home. Just kidding. Stay right here. God bless you. All right, all right. We are playing a game to kick off the night. Before we do that, if it's your first time here, my name is Pastor Daniel. I'm Avi. And we love having fun. So I need two contestants on the platform right now. Oh, wow, that was right. quick. Okay. Well, dude, dude, you can okay. throw up that first slide for me. Victor, everyone give it up for Victor. He's in the sound booth holding it down. Vic All right. All right. Tonight, we are playing a game called Brandless Brands. Some of you are like, what the? What are you talking about? Um, I am not giving away gift cards this week. I apologize. But you will have bragging rights saying that you won Brandless Brands. And no one's going to know what you're talking about, which is cool. All right, throw those instructions up on the screen for me, please. <laughs> Here is how the game is going to work. Is it working? There we go. Okay, so we're going to put a logo on the screen. I need the first person, whether it be Chris or David, to tell us in the microphone which brand it is. The trick, though, is that you won't see all the logo, and so you have to know your stuff. You think you guys are going to do that? You think you can do it? Yeah, you think you got it? No pressure. Who thinks David's going to win? That was lame. Wow. Who thinks Christopher's going to win? Man, I... I feel the love. It's one of, it's one of those nights. First, All right. Yeah. Round one. Wow. Let's toss up that first logo, and here we go. We have a red... Marble. Oh, wow. Marble it is. There we go. Out of boy, David. Great job. You scared me for a minute. Sorry, Chris. All right, two more. Get them on up Not here. Not even a second. I have Owen. I have John. Yep, I see you. Get up on the stage. Get up here. My yeah. man, Owen. I hate how tall John is, guys. When I first came here, he was like like this tall. Like, and now he's Bro, I'm guy. 23. You see this? Yeah, bro. I feel like I need to keep on growing. It's Thanks, Jesus. Coffee. All right. <laughs> Round two. Owen. John, you can look at the screens or the screens. Take Here that. is the next logo. Throw it up on the screen. What do we have? What? What do we have? What? Um. <laughs> that's, a dot. That's, a, that's, a, that's a dot, Pastor. Man. It's a dot. No, that's not a logo. Is it, is it Apple? That's not a logo. It is Apple. Throw it up on the screen. Great job. It, I know, bro. They, you had nothing to work with there. <laughs> All right, all right. The Round apple would have gave it away. I need away. two more people. I have Isaac, and do I have anyone else? Anybody oh, in the room? Oh, oh, It don't matter what oh. side. Kaylee's up here first. Get up here, Kaylee. Get up here, Kaylee. All right, all right, all right. Round three. Take Victor, time. do you think they're going to get this next one? I don't know. What is it? Hold on. Is it Netflix? It is Netflix. Isaac said Netflix. Give it up. Y'all are making this no fun for your team. Come on, two more, two more, two more. Two more, two more, two more. All right, all right. What up, Bella? I got faith in you. You're going to get it. All right. Round four. Here we go. Amazon? What? Amazon, Amazon? It's Amazon. Give it up. Okay, I guess it was Lily. Sorry, Bella. Lily got it first. You're My a, team a got winner it first. in Jesus' eyes. Two more. Get up here. We got Emily. We got Better Lucy. Take your time. All right. All right. Hey, this, this is an easy one. If you guys don't get this one, you're just not a young person. All right. Taco Bell. Everyone? Three, two, one. It 
Miss Google, give it up for Lucy! Tell Yo, Emily just came with the most blank stare, like, what is, what is this? <laughs> all right, all right, two more, come on, we got plenty more rounds to go, two more. Uh, I got three people have up here. Oh, no. Abby and Anna Clara, come on up here, ladies, come on, Ta-da. come on. Ta-da. All right. This next one is it's also time. pretty easy. If you don't know it, I'm going to be sad. All right, Avi, are we ready over there? Hulu. 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 Not Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> is that, um, London? <laughs> is that like one of those Google things? <laughs> Google, Google, Google Sheet, Spotify. It is Spotify. Give it up for Abby. Oh. Spotify, Anna Clara. Yeah. Oh, it's Spotify. Going, that's going to be a good one. Come on, two more, two more, two more. Who next? I saw Amanda. I saw David. Get up here. Let's go. David. David's like, I already won one. I'm a, I'm a champion, whatever. Amanda. It's fine. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. And she ain't got nothing on me. That is my name. All right. Round seven. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ford. It is Ford. I don't know who. Did you say it first or did you say it? It was a tie. All right, then everybody tie. wins. Jesus loves you. Two more. Let's go. Two more. You David, already you already got here. a million times. Yeah. You were already up here. Anybody else? You no one else is coming up. up. No one else is coming up, though. So we got Chris, uh-huh. we got Owen. All right, all right, all right. You better get it. Round uh, eight. Let's see if we got it. Three, two, one. Uh, uh, uh. Dunkin' Donuts. Donuts. No. Wait, Dunkin' what? Dunkin' Donuts. No. 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 Uh, Uh, Is that a food company? Is that a food company? No. Okay. I'll give you a hint. You can now change the logo of this. Oh. Instagram. It is Instagram. Give it up for Christopher. If you didn't know, you can go into the settings of Instagram, swipe up all the way, you can change the actual app icon on your phone. So I got the old school Instagram, back to 2011, you know what I'm saying? All right, yo, I see, do I see Abby? Oh, Abby's not coming up, all right. I have Corey, I see Bella, get up here, Bella. Oh, Golden State? Golden State? Yo, but look who's, okay. But look at the back of his jersey. Look at the back of his jersey, oh! Durant's the best. It's cool. KD was a, he's lethal. All right, round nine. Take your time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Stop and shop. TikTok, TikTok, It TikTok. is TikTok. Mm, mm. Come on. TikTok. Let's see those TikTok dances TikTok. wherever you at, wherever you at. No, just kidding. They better be appropriate. I need two more. We have two rounds left. Two rounds left. All right, John's back up here, and Isaac, all right. Both of these young oh. men. Oh, both I, of them I see are, beef. They're both growing like bean sprouts, bro. Both of them, look. These guys are giants crazy. to me. Crazy. All right, guys are round giants 10. Take your time. Victor, thank you for letting me know. Here we go. Yeah, well, Three, let me, let me get over here. <laughs> two, one. What's that? Hulu? Is that Hulu? I recognize that. Is that Hulu? I recognize that. No. Xbox, Hulu, PBS, 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 PBS kids. Nick, you got anything? Let's look at someone's face. (laughs) Minecraft. I already said Xbox. (laughs) You wear them on your feet. Crocs. Nike, Crocs. It is Crocs. Ah. Give it up for John. That was a tough one. Crocs. All Who right. Crocs? All right, here's last one, round 11. Come on, we need one more. Oh, we got both of them. All right, let's go, let's go. Abby, please come over here. Battle Ooh. of the besties. All right, here we go, round 11. Winner I know. gets nothing. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Vance! Vance! Yes, it is Vance. I don't know who I said it first. I we'll let you decide. Hey. Hey, hey, remember, you guys are best friends. It doesn't matter. You guys can fight about it on your way back. You guys are best friends. Remember that. Anyway, 
that's all we got. So, um, is anybody wearing Vans? The one that we're not wearing our Vans together. Yeah, what's up, Vans gang? Okay. Um, okay. So, long story short, uh, you're here at youth on a Friday night. You're in church. No better place to be. We love having you guys here. Again, my name is Pastor Daniel. This is Avi. And uh, a couple of quick things before we jump into the night. First things first, I'm the realist. Um, just kidding. I love seeing all your masks. Y'all doing a fantastic job. We're going to keep on reminding you every single week, whenever you're out of your seat and walking around the building, please, please, please keep your masks on. When you're in service or in your squad, no need to worry. You can take that bad boy off. Or if you feel comfortable wearing it the entire night, that is totally cool as well. Uh, again, we're here every Friday on Sunday mornings. We also have our uh, breakfast club, which is dope. We're starting a new series this month on mental health. So if that's interesting to you, we won't be talking about that this Sunday during first service in the youth room. And then on Wednesdays, Avi, what do we have going on, bro? From 12 to 3 p.m. program. So every Wednesday, uh, we're actually going to be canceling our Thursdays since, like, nobody comes to that. Uh, but Wednesdays from 12 to 3 p.m., you guys can come hang out and do your homework and schoolwork here. The entire church is open for that. And uh, it's dope. You got to do it with your friends. So that's all we got for you tonight. Uh, I'm excited. I believe God's going to do something special in every single one of our lives. Uh, and so what's going to happen right now? Oh, yes. Alicia just reminded me. Breakfast Club is for everybody. Not just middle schoolers, but everyone. Just so you guys are aware. Okay. Um, Alvi. Yeah. That's all I got for tonight, bro. Oh, you know what time it is, bro? What time is it, bro? Oh, it's time for worship. Is it time for worship? It's all right. It's time for worship. Let's hey, go. why don't you guys stand Let's near go. your feet and you can roll that video. All right, guys. I want you guys to get up off your seat. Everybody up, everybody up. We're gonna give praise to God, all right? Which is the best part, my, honestly, my favorite part to do. So as the worship team gets ready, and yeah, I'm singing, uh, but uh, it ain't about me, so that's the best part. So we're gonna have some fun. Who's ready for worship? Right on. All right. So, we starting that. We starting again. <laughs> all right. So, Father God, thank you for this time we have together, Lord. Lord, it's all about you. Uh, Holy Spirit, come down on us right now, God, and just fill us with your presence, God. We thank you and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
sing through the night, oh God, the battle belongs to you. So when I fight, I fight on my knees, my hands lifted high.
thank you, God, for this one, for this time, Lord, of worshiping you, God. It's all about you, Lord. And we thank you for what you're about to do. In this, uh, as Pastor Dan brings this message, Lord, fill us up, God, with your, with your presence, God. And we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. But most importantly, you, we love you, but you love us way, way more, God. We thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. team awesome can we give it up for the worship team one more time oh you can do better than that give it up for them one more time you guys they're awesome they're such a great great job all right y'all like this bumper video totally made it myself just kidding did not avi made the music though where's avi at avi made the beat for this i don't even know where he is he's hiding somewhere give it up for avi you made no <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not, bro. Stop lying. I'm kidding. All right, I'm just messing with you guys. Okay. Who's excited to be here tonight? Anyone? I was going to say, if y'all aren't excited, you can just go home right now. You can just walk out those doors. Just kidding. Don't do that. Um, so, look, I only want to take, you know, a small amount of your time. We will be done within the next 20, 30 minutes. So, I would appreciate it if you guys would mind just staying tight in your seat. We're going to lock the back doors up. No one going to the bathroom. You can pee your pants if you have to. Um, ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha. Why is no one laughing? Amanda, why are you laughing? Kaylee, thank you very much. Um, yo, know, I'm very, very excited for the word tonight, you guys. Um, I was really thinking about this, honestly, a couple months ago, and just kind of planning out the entire fall and what the rest of our year was going to look like, what we're going to be talking about. So for everybody that's here tonight, we are starting a brand new series called True Story. Everybody say that with me. True. One more time. And over the entire fall going into the winter, I really felt like it was something that the Holy Spirit put on my heart. This phrase that we hear all the time, but I think is so powerful and crucial for us, and that is going back to the basics. Everything we're talking about from our faith to our identity, and a number of other things are all going back to the basics in our faith. And every single series that we talk about on Fridays, every single thing we talk about on Sunday mornings, we'll be going back to the basics. So put your seatbelts on. Go ahead, wherever you're at right now, let's get it. Or if you prefer a roller coaster, you can put the harness over your chest like that. Yo, what if we did like a, like a roller coaster challenge? Everybody was like, what? right? Have you guys done that before? No? Some of you are like, what are you even talking about, Pastor Daniel? Y'all need Jesus. All right. Let me get all set up here. Um, before we get started, a couple of quick things I want to throw your way. A couple of announcements that I'm very excited about. We had an awesome squad night last Friday night. Who was here for squads last week? Come on, we had pizza. We had pau de queijo. We had all kinds of good stuff. Did I butcher that? One of my Brazilian friends out in the room. Um, it was a really awesome, awesome night. And I'm really stoked because on Sept or October 30th, that's our next squad night, we are doing something that I think every single one of you have seen on TikTok. We're going to be having our very own ghost photo shoot here at Victory Youth. Come on, some of you are like, what is that, Pastor Daniel? Like, what are you talking about? Has anybody seen these on your Instagram or on TikTok? All right, so what I need you to do is on October 30th. I need you to get an extra large white bed sheet. We're gonna cut a couple holes out in that and then bring a pair of sunglasses. And we're gonna take some, I mean, we'll have Taylor, Alicia, they'll be getting you guys modeling in these photo shoots. They'll be posting it on our Instagram page. You guys are like, wow, that's not really appealing. Well, guess what? We're doing that because Halloween's the next day. That's the first thing. And the second thing on a more serious note, on Sunday, October, I believe it's the 18th. Yes, on the 18th, 
uh, here, we're going to be give, I know some of you are like, we're having convention again! Uh, no. Um, the theme, the theme for us uh, this year is called unconventional. And even though COVID, right, that's kind of funny, um, has led to a very unconventional year for every single one of us in the entire world and all of humanity, uh, we are going to be having a special one-day offering. We will be taking this, uh, not this Sunday, but Sunday, October 18th. So if you feel compelled to give, if you are encouraged about that, we're actually starting our missions focus next month, and I think this will be a great way uh, to lead into that. So, yes, Nick. Uh, fall retreat, that more information will come later. We need to talk about a few things still with some leadership, but we'll talk about what all of that looks like because, Nick, it's going to look very unconventional this year, young man. All right, see what I did there? That was a dad joke. No one? All right, great. Love you guys. You're amazing. I love the crowd tonight. Yes, you're amazing, and uh, I don't care. I've been preaching to a camera for seven months on my own. I don't even need you. It's fine. Why is no one laughing, Abby, at my jokes tonight? This is terrible. Like, I... Jeez, bro, huh? Yo, <laughs> some of you are like, Pastor Dan, you're just not that funny. Like, sorry. I'm like, oh, okay, sorry. Tell your mom you've been bad. Okay, we're going into a new series tonight. Um, again, I mentioned it earlier called True Story. In the next few weeks, we're talking about this thing called identity. Everyone say identity. That was weak. I said, say it one more time. Thank you so much, Lord, for making them speak. All right. Um, I want to do a quick poll for some of you guys that are in the room. Um, it's going to be simple, no technology required, whether you've got a smartphone or a dumb phone uh, or no phone at all. I need you guys to raise your hand when I ask you these questions. So first thing I'm going to ask you is this. Would you rather stand out or blend in? If you would rather stand out, raise your hand. All right, if you would rather blend in, raise your hand. All right, pretty split on that one. What about this? Have you ever felt pressured to hide or change who you are? If you have felt pressured to hide or change who you are, raise your hand. If you have never felt pr or, or uh, challenged or pressured to hide who you are, raise your hand. If you've never felt that, you just are who you are. Come on. All right, how about this next one? Have you ever felt like you are, like who you are isn't good enough? If you have felt like you are not good enough, raise your hand. Come on, I see all the hands across the room. If you have never felt that and you just think you're the best thing since sliced bread, come on, I love the confidence, raise your hand. Some of you are like, oh my gosh, Pastor Dan, I'm not going to raise my hand. No one's raising my hand right now. On most days, this is a pretty blunt one, uh, do you like who you are? If you like who you are on most days, raise your hand. If you don't like who you are on most days, raise your hand. All right. Some of you are like, man, I wish I could just shower more. I smell. Jeez. All right. And last but not least, do you know exactly who you are or are you still trying to figure it out? If you know who you are, raise your hand. You know what I'm talking about? If you're still trying to figure out who you are, raise your hand. All right. Very, very cool. Check it out. Most of us, most of us don't walk around announcing our biggest questions and insecurities. For anyone out there, shh. Could I actually have it turned down a little bit? I'm going to start shouting in the microphone. I'm getting fired up already. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Everyone give it up for Victor one more time. Give it up for Luke. Give it up for Cody. Yes, thank you, men. You are amazing holding it down. All right, that's good. Uh, so most of us don't walk around saying, yeah, Pastor Dan, um, I don't like who I am, and I'm proud of it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's turn up. I hate, right? None of us do that on a daily basis, but all of us have these questions and insecurities. In this series, we're addressing what it means to look at our identity and who we are. Are. For the next few weeks, we're talking about two very important things. Show me your, show me your peace sign, wherever you're at. Two things. First thing we're talking about, you can see on the top of the screen up here, is who we are, who we are. We're talking about who we are because many of us have questions and struggles related to who we are and who we are becoming. 
the second thing, you're giving me my big ideas right now. I didn't say it yet. Uh, second thing is we're going to talk about who God is. Who God is because you and I are made in the image of God. Period. And, and he is our God. He is the creator. And to understand who we are, we must understand who our creator is. So to guide us through these conversations, we're going to look at a <coughs> true story throughout scripture and see how different people uh, in scripture discovered who they were and who God was in that situation. Many of you in here probably even find it difficult to believe that you were created. But here's the reality, whether um, we believe it or not, we can talk about this at a separate time. The reality is we have to start with the assumption believing that God created every single one of us, Emma. Every single one of us. God created every single one of us perfectly in his image, period. Whether you believe it or not, that is the reality. All that being said, we're going to dive into the word tonight. Before we do that, um, I have a story. I think you guys can relate. Has anybody in here um, with Apple dropping an announcement next week, Isaac and I were talking about this, that uh, most likely they will be talking about the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12S Max SE, whatever the heck they're going to call it, Pro, Pro Max to the third, right? Uh, they'll be talking about new stuff they're releasing next week. How many of you have those friends in here? You don't even need to say their name or look at them because they might be sitting next to you. But the moment that new phone comes out, they're going to be getting it and flexing on every single person saying, I have four cameras on the back of my phone, right? Maybe some of you guys, I'm just speaking to me, right? Like when I was growing up, I had the iPhone, check it. Yo, when the iPhone, yo, some of you are like, oh my gosh, they're sitting right next to me. I'm pointing right at them. Yo, when... When the iPhone, when the iPhone 5, listen guys, listen, listen, when the iPhone, check it out, this is, I'm dating myself right now, when the iPhone 5 came out, yo, I thought I was the bee's knees, bro, when I got that phone, I was like, yeah, look at me, I got the iPhone 5, I ain't got that blocky thing no more, it's kind of like thin and like slender, check it out, and that's like 10,000 years ago. But I remember looking at all of my friends, be like, yo, even Alicia. I remember I had like an iPhone 6 Plus or whatever it was. I remember when she got the, and we were dating. Yo, she got the iPhone 7. I was mad about it. I'm like, Alicia, what the heck? Like, I'm so jealous. I caught feelings. I was a whole, it was terrible. Um, has anybody seen Toy Story in here? Maybe I can paint it in a different light because we're talking about movies and stories. Any, the original Toy Story. Like, not Toy Story 4, whatever. Original Toy Story, circa 1990s, like Toy Story. All right. So check this out. Do you remember when, when uh, Andy was playing with his new toy? He got Woody for his toy. And then all of a sudden, he's having fun time, whatever. All of a sudden, he gets Buzz Lightyear. Anyone? Any remember that story? He gets Buzz Lightyear. Yo, I felt so bad. Woody was like, what the heck, man? Like, Woody all of a sudden wasn't the favorite toy anymore. He was jealous of Buzz, like that, Woody's emotions in that moment is a whole mood. Like that, that's me when somebody else gets the iPhone 12 SE Max Pro that's coming out next week. Like you get jealous of what other people get different things. Here's the reality though. If you've ever felt insecurity, jealousy, fear, um, you're not alone. This problem goes way way back, and we're going to throw it back all the way to the book of Genesis right now. So if you've got your Bibles, open to the book of Genesis. I'll make it real easy for you. You probably open up right past it in your Bible because it's the very first book. It is Genesis chapter 4, and we're going to read the first eight verses together. Come on, if you have your Bible, let me see it. Wave it in the air. Some of you are like, I don't have one. I have my phone. It's all technical. Yeah. If you got a real Bible, yes, Kaylee Chambers, Jesus loves you more for having a real Bible. Um, I'm just kidding. He loves all of us. But there's something special about having a Bible in your hands. You know what I'm saying? You don't get distracted on TikTok when you flip through the pages of Genesis. You know what I'm saying? All right. Genesis chapter 4. And for all the real spiritual people out there, all you guys that are in the front row on the right side over here, um, we're going to be looking at it on the screens as well. So you can look on these screens. Now, it won't be difficult. Um, some of you are like, Pastor Dan, what's that first sentence say? I'm going to read it like the Bible says it. Adam made love to his wife Eve. They got nasty. And she became pregnant. 
and gave birth. Guys, come on. We're better than this. We're not in kids' church. All right. Ha ha. They had a child. Great. Um, she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Mm -mm. Verse 2. Later, she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. Verse 3. I see you're trying to find the cursor on the screen. There we go. Verse 3. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. We're fast forwarding time. They grew up. They're now farmers, okay? And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Watch this. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain caught feelings. Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, a.k.a. you do what's wrong, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. And now Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out to the field. And while they were in the field skipping, right, and jumping around with one another, Cain attacked Abel and his brother and killed him. And that was it. Yeah. Story over. Yeah. Yeah, some of you were like, dang, bro, that went zero to 100 real quick. Cain killed his brother because Cain was jealous of the offering that his brother gave to God. We don't know why God wasn't happy with Cain's offering. But if I had to guess, maybe it's because Cain had an attitude problem. If he didn't have one before he made his offering, your boy definitely did have one afterward, all right? And Cain was so angry, so jealous, he killed his brother. Some of you are like, what the heck? That is a true story. Ha, get it? True story. Anyone? Yes. True story. I'm glad you got it. That's because of the title of the series. True story that happened. This ain't the only thing that happened in the Bible. We're going to look at the, the idea of jealousy. Fast forward 33 chapters. We're not going to put it on the screen. But Genesis 37, here's what God's word says. We, have to, we see this idea not only with Cain and Abel, but does anybody know the story of da -da -da -da, Joseph? Anyone? Joseph? Joseph? Yes? No? Joseph? Okay. I'm going to paraphrase. I'm going to give you the Pastor Daniel version, so I'm not going to be here all night. But Joseph was one of many sons to his father, Jacob. Long story short, for everybody in the room, everyone eyes on me, right? What happened was Joseph was one of Jacob's favorites, if not the favorite amongst all of his other brothers. And Joseph had a dream that he would be in charge ruling over all of his brothers one day. Yo, and then, you know what's crazy, Lily? He didn't just have that dream. He bragged about it, literally to all of his brothers. Imagine Lily has a dream and goes, David, Abby, Albert, um, I'm going to be queen one day, and all y'all going to be serving me. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to happen. Um, Abby, Albert, David, if Lily says that to you, what are you going to do, boy? Not listen to her? Would you maybe like dig a ditch and throw her into it? Maybe, maybe sell her somewhere, get her out of your house, get her out of your life? This story happened because all of Joseph's siblings were jealous of Joseph, right? We might think jealousy is harmless, you guys, but it ain't harmless when gossip is involved. It's not harmless when anger is involved. I mean, I'm not saying you're going to go over here and kill your sister, but, but it ain't. It's not innocent when people seriously begin to pick up a fence and now all they can do when they see somebody or hear of what somebody's doing, they feel anger rather than celebrating them. Jealousy is a real thing, you guys. Jealousy is a very real thing. And I believe 
we're going to get to the core of why it is right here. So you can actually, again, keep your Bibles open, flip over to 1 Corinthians right now, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and I want to read this to you guys. Um, Paul is writing this letter, and this is a little more contextual for us today. This is in the idea of talking about spiritual gifts. Everybody say gifts. gifts. Say it one more time. Gifts. If God has created every single one of us perfectly, every single one of us uniquely, that means every single one of us has a special gift that the person sitting next to you probably does or doesn't have. I want to read this over you real quick. 1 Corinthians 12, starting in verse 4. Here's what God's word says. There are different kinds of gifts. But the same spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them, in everyone, it is the, work, the same God at work. Now, to each one of the manifestation of the spirit is given for the common good. I'm going to keep on reading. Stay with me here. To one there is given through the spirit a message of wisdom. To another a message of knowledge. By means of the same spirit. Notice how he's saying the, it's the same spirit, the same spirit, the same spirit. Different gifts, same spirit. To another, by the same spirit. To another, gifts of healing by that one spirit. To another, miraculous powers. To another, prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, speaking different kinds of tongues. And to still another, the interpretation of tongues. But watch this. All of these work of one and of the same, of the same, of the same, and he distributes them to each one just as he determines, just as a body. This is the whole point of what we're talking about tonight. Just as a body, though one has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. There are a lot of things we can learn. I just kind of skipped over a lot of that. We could have a 12-week series on all of those different things I talked about right there. What I wanted you to understand is this. It is not just dumb or not worth your time. It's literally illogical for you guys to look at one another and be jealous of what somebody else has or who somebody else is. Maybe some of you are jealous that someone's getting into a certain college and you're not. Maybe some of you are jealous because somebody has more followers on TikTok or Instagram than you, and you don't have as many. Maybe you are jealous because somebody got the new iPhone. Whatever it is, jealousy will slowly tear you and your relationships apart. God's word is very clear here. He says that every single one of you has been given a unique gift. Every single one of you, David, has been given a spirit or a spiritual gift. Every single one of you has been given a different purpose and calling in your life. So why would you sit back and look at somebody else and say, I wish what they had. I wish, how, I, wish I was doing what they were doing in their life. When God has already given you all you need to succeed and to have a full and thriving life. It, it discredits the goodness of the gift. It discredits how uniquely God has made you. Some of you in that question I said earlier aren't even happy with looking at yourself. Some of you would rather look like somebody else. We have an entire culture dedicated to making you feel like you're not good enough and you need to look like somebody else. That's how advertising works. You don't have this. You don't look like them. You don't have their influence. Therefore, be like them. But God says, no, I've created you uniquely. I've created you with purpose. I've created you the way I wanted to. And for us to discredit that when we're the creation, that'd be like Alicia did pottery, right? She did ceramics and she was at Biola. That'd be like her creating five different pots and the pots were like, actually, um, can you make it more like them? You know what I'm saying? First of all, that'd be weird if they were talking, but it'd be like, um, can you make more like that cup over there? I don't like the way that I look right now. I don't like the way that you made me. The, yo, it was clay beforehand. It was literally nothing. What right does that pot have to tell Alicia how to create themselves? But we do the same thing. God, why did you make me this way? Why did you make my body type look like this? Why did you not give me the personality like they have? 
Why did you not give me the, that person's voice? And that's what we do. I have very, very good news for you. Um, I want to look at, I'm not going to have you guys flip there, but in three of the four Gospels, the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, three of those four Gospels, we see this encounter that Jesus has before his entire ministry starts. Does anybody know what I'm going to be talking about right now? Matthew chapter 3, Mark chapter 1, and, and Luke chapter 4. Jesus gets baptized. And I love, I love what happens, you guys, in this moment. Because all three different accounts, you see Jesus go into the water. John the Baptist baptizes Jesus. And when he comes out of the water, you know, imagine this. The heavens literally open up. A dove comes flying down and rests on Jesus' shoulder. And so you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all in one moment. And watch what the Father says. The Father says to Jesus and everybody that's there, This is my Son, whom I love. In him I am well pleased. This is Lucy, in whom I love, in her, I am well pleased. This is my son, Albert, in whom I love, in him, I am well pleased. I need every single one of us to catch the magnitude of this moment. Do Guys, the God of the universe, the creator, looks at you, looks at me. He has created us uniquely, individually, and says, you are my possession. You are my prized creation. I have created you the way that I desired to create you. Inside and out, all the dreams in your heart, everything on your mind, that is how God created us. Before we ever do anything, before, if we look at the life of Jesus, before he ever did anything, his father affirmed him in his identity. Validation preceded affirmation or, or, or aspiration. Validation preceded aspiration. Pastor Daniel, what does that even mean? Jesus was affirmed in who he was in his identity before he ever did anything. Some of us are in here tonight thinking I have to make X amount of dollars or have all this influence or get this job or go to this school to be validated. But my God says that I have validated you before you ever do anything for me. My God says that you are created perfectly the way that I have made you. Stop looking at your brother and sister and wishing you were like them when I created you to be who you are supposed to be. Go ahead, clap. That's, that's good news. That's good news. And if the same thing is true of Jesus, young people, it's true for us today. The Father looks at you. I want to pause. And I, this was barely even in my notes. The Father looks at you. Your Father, the creator of the universe. And he says that I have created you perfectly and you have to do nothing to earn my affection. He wants us to understand our identity before we think we have to do X, Y, and Z or look like somebody else to get that affirmation that all of us are longing for. Maybe some of us in this room right now, maybe you don't even have a dad that you can go home to and hear that. Maybe you do and your dad's never said that to you or hasn't said that to you in a long time. I know growing up for me, I didn't grow up with a dad in the house. So yeah, my mom all the time was like, yeah, I love you, but there's something special when your father speaks that over you. And I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight. I don't know if you have a dad in the house that you're not, but I need you to understand that your heavenly father loves you He's pleased with you, and he's created you with a purpose. And that's the reality, no matter what anybody says. And I need us to walk out of here tonight knowing that our identity is found only Jesus, and it's in only him alone. 
nobody else, no other thing, no other dream, no other purpose, no other reality. Our identity is only found in Jesus. And the moment you stop looking for your identity in other places and you give it solely to him is the moment you will feel and experience that fulfillment. Come on, every single one of us in here know what I'm talking about. Every single one of us in here has a hole in our heart where we're trying to find what that means, what's going to fill that hole. Status, relationships, substances, everyone in here is trying to fill that hole inside their heart. You'll only have it filled by the creator of the universe, by your savior, by Jesus. And so in closing tonight, I don't know who wants to come up here and play something spiritual, but we're coming to an end right now, and we're going to go into our squad time. It can be very hard to see ourselves clearly, you guys. Very, very hard to see ourselves clearly. Especially with everything in culture telling you how you should be and who you should be. Maybe some of you are still trying to figure yourselves out. Maybe some of you feel like, yo, I got my whole life figured out. Boy, we good. You know what I'm saying, Pastor Dan? I got, I'm good. Whoever you are, wherever you are tonight, I need you to realize that the difficulty in trying to figure out who you are, it's a part of God's design. And here's what I mean. One of the reasons we're created is to be created in and live in community. Living with other people and doing life with other people, we often need their help to help us see who we are. Come on, some of you are like, I have terrible friends and all they do is discourage me. And some of you are like, I have the best friends in the world and they call me on what I need to be called on. They encourage me when I need to be encouraged. And that's why we're literally going to break into our squads in a few moments and live and do life together because that's what we were created for. I want to encourage you tonight. When you know who God is, you can be more confident in who God has created you to be. When you're confident who God has created you to be, it's easy, well, easier, I should say, to help other people become confident in who God has created them to be. Over the next few weeks, you guys, we're going to spend a lot more time talking about who God is, um, who we were created to be. We'll begin to see I hope and take this seriously. We begin to see more of the ways that you have been created uniquely. And as we discover more about who God is, we'll learn that he is our creator that not only put the stars in the sky and the fish in the ocean, but he created you uniquely and with a purpose. Sometimes I think we read a verse like John 3, 16, and we read God loved the world, and we're like, yeah, the whole world. You know who makes up the world? You and you and you, 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 like we all make up the world. He loved every single one of us individually. He is a good God. My encouragement is that we would cling to learning about who God is, to putting our faith and our hope in his promises, and that we would come to love him even more than you do right now. Come on, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. God is not looking for perfection, but he's looking for Come on, he's looking for progression, one step at a time. I pray, it is our prayer, we literally come in here before service every single week and we pray that you would walk out of here one step closer to loving Jesus a little bit more tonight than how you came in these doors. That's our prayer, that's our hope, and that's what God is looking for. So this week, I challenge you to remember to pray and to trust this very good reality we can end it on this. I realized I did not even say it earlier because I was going to pray and I forgot, but we got all hyped up. Put the big idea on the screen for me, please. Because of who God is, we can trust how God has made us. Because of who God is, we can trust how God has made us. Father, we are grateful for moments like these to come before you as your sons and your daughters, brothers and sisters, kings and queens in your kingdom. Holy Spirit, I pray right now that you would remind every single one of us tonight 
that we are created perfectly in your image. There is no need to be jealous. There's no need to be anxious. There's no need to be insecure about who we are because you have created us perfectly the way you want them to create us. There's no mistakes in how you made any single one of us here. So, Father, tonight we trust that you will have your way in moving our hearts and helping us cling to that truth a little bit more. We trust that you are a good God who knows what you're doing and has our best interests in mind. We love you. We trust you now. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that everybody said amen and amen. Listen, this is going to happen. Uh, we're going to split up into our squads now. I'm going to dismiss you guys one squad at a time. And then uh, we're going to have an awesome time hanging out. If you're new here, again, our squads are just a way for you to hang out with people that are in your same grade and of the same gender as you. And so here's what we're going to do. If you are a high school lady, please stand to your feet. Put your mask on. My beautiful wife, Alicia, is in the back of the room. Give it up for my wife, Alicia. Yeah. She got the clipboard, and you guys are heading into the cafe. So follow Alicia into the cafe. If you are a high school Lady, you guys can get up and get out. See you later, alligator. Alicia, in a while, crocodile. Thank you very much. All right. Ladies, you can head out. Thank you very much. Uh, where are my high school boys at? Where are boys? All right. High school boys, put your masks on. You'll be heading with Horace and with Avi. You guys will be upstairs in the youth room. Get out of here. Go have fun, high school boys. Skedaddle, scram, see ya, leave, thank you very much, you got your clipboard, you're good, all right, where my middle school girls at, yeah, woo, okay, um, middle school girls, you will be following Miss Abby, who is helping me worship every single week, into the, and Taylor as well, give it up for Taylor, woo, y'all will be heading um, into the uh, former kids church room, it's, that's basically what it is. It's just like a storage kids church room area thing. I don't know. Um, Taylor, 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 Taylor. Taylor Piccolo. Could you do me a huge favor? Could you, um, before jumping into your squad, could you grab some photos of all of the squads real quick, if you don't mind, and then join them? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And last but not least, where are my boys? Yeah, middle school boys. Y'all are the rowdy ones here. Okay, gentlemen, you will follow Cody and myself. We're going to be in the parent room right over here, out the doors, and to the right. We love you. Have an awesome night. If you're watching online, again, like way after the fact, peace.